Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another session on engineering graphics with me Yash Chavla from Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology. Last time we started with projections of solid and we solved a few problems and we learned classifications of solid as well. This time we are going to continue solving the problems. One of the problems will be carried over from the last time that was not solved and this time we are going to solve problems in which the solids are inclined with at least one plane or more than one plane that is inclined with both the planes so without further ado let's begin because the time is always short so today we are going to solve projections of uh, examples of uh, projections of solid with axis inclined to one and two reference planes so let's begin with the first example this is this example is carried forward from last time uh, square prism side of base 35 mm and height 60 mm is resting on its base in VP and 30 mm above HP. One of the edges of the base is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. Draw the projections of the square. Okay. Now the thing is that there is a prism means it has both the surfaces as same the upper and the lower surfaces and that surface is a square. Then the next thing that it says is that the base side is 35 mm means the square that is formed is of all the four sides are of 35 mm and the height of the prism is given as 60 mm and the base is uh, resting on VP on one of its edge which is inclined at 30 degrees that means that uh, the square prism will be resting on one of its edges in this manner and it will be above, uh, above HP and it will be resting on VP in such a way that one of its side would be making an angle of 30 degrees with, uh, with respect to uh, 30 degrees with respect to HP. So let's draw the problem or uh, let's see the uh, isometric view of the problem first. So this will be the case here you can see that the base is resting on VP and again this point is 30 mm above this line that is given that is it is above HP 30 mm above HP and one of its side that this side or you can take this side is making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane that is HP. So this is the case in which the uh, this prism is lying on VP the base of the prism is lying on VP and one of its side edges is making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to HP. So let's draw the problem, let's uh, put the answer on paper. First of all as we always do, we shall draw the line XY. So this is the line XY that uh, is base if we are talking about VP then this line uh, if we are drawing VP then it will be uh, this line will be considered HP and if we are drawing HP then this line will be considered as VP okay so the first of all what uh, we need to draw is we need to draw a line at 30 degrees and of 30 mm that would be uh, that would be actually the base of the one of the edges that is making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the uh, HP so first the distance above HP is 30 mm so we shall mark a point 30 mm above HP this is the point 30 mm above HP so I'll just draw a reference line I'll just do a reference line on this now what uh, next we need to draw is we need to draw a line from this point and which is making an angle of 30 degrees and is of uh, side base 35 mm which will be one of the sides of uh, the square now 30 degrees so here is 30 degrees I mark 30 degrees as this now what I'll do is I'll put my scale or I'll just draw a straight line now I need to mark 35 mm so what I'll do is I'll take my compass measure 35 mm on it put my uh, center here and cut an arc so now I'll highlight the square the side of the square 
and you will be able to see that it comes down as 35 mm this is one of the sides of the angle so now I'll put my ID here to make a perfect square so I'll mark it somewhere here and then I'll again take 35 mm again the same thing I'll do you should always rotate the paper I am not rotating the paper because you won't have a perfect view so this is why I'm just marking the points as it is and finally I'll join the square I can denote I'll mark the different points now there will be two notations one will be numeric and one will be alphabet because this point these points are represent this is the top view that we have drawn oh sorry the front view that we have drawn now this point would actually be denoting two points that is the top of the uh, prism as well as the bottom of the prism so all the four uh, will have two notations one will be numeric and the other one will be an alphabet so what I'll do is I'll start with one dash and a dash that is that and again I'll name it as two dash and b dash three dash and c dash and here I'll name it as four dash and d dash now what I need to do is uh, uh, this distance is 30 mm and each side is of 35 mm I'm sorry you, sh you should always denote it this way 35 mm now I'll draw drop down uh, projectors yeah and this one also now you, the, now I'm going to draw the top view of it so when I'm drawing the top view one of the edges won't be visible which edge won't be visible see this is the front view now I'm, if I'm absorbing this from the top then this edge will be visible this edge will be visible and this edge will be visible whereas this edge would be underneath the it will be at the bottom part so this edge won't be visible and that will be drawing it in the dotted line in the final figure so first I'll mark uh, these points these four points I've obtained so these are what will be in touch with uh, VP so I'll name it as one this is four this is two and this is three now the height of the prism is uh, given to us as 60 mm so I'll just drop down 60 mm lines straight down from these points to get my prism top view 60 mm exactly straight so I'll do one thing I'll keep this as parallel I'll start drawing from here so that I don't spread the ink Uh, first I'll draw this and I'll draw this in different color so that uh, you'll be able to make out that this edge is the edge which is at the bottom so this will come as dashed line and at the end what I'll do is I'll just connect all these points now this is I'll mark it with green this is A, this is D, this point is B, and this point is C. And you can show the height. This is the height. This is 60 mm. Should always use a scale for drawing this. Uh, just to save time, I have drawn 
it more free handedly so this is how uh, your final answer will look like for the first question now here uh, I didn't mark one thing that you should always mark is that this is 30 degrees with respect to the line so this is the final figure that we have for the question that was the first one for today okay let's move on to the next question now we are moving into cone and a right circular cone 40 mm base diameter base diameter means the base circle diameter is 40 mm and 60 mm long axis is resting on HP on one of uh, on one point of the base circle such that its axis is making 45 degree inclination with re respect to the HP and we have to draw the projections of this particular cone so now just imagine that uh, ice cream cone is kept upside down on a paper uh, that is on the table that is like the ice cream cone is this way if I draw it this is the ice cream cone now what I'll do is I'll keep it vertically on the paper so this is what the condition is given to us and the base circle diameter as uh, the base circle diameter means this diameter as well as the height is given to us so we need to draw the projections that is uh, the projections of the given cone uh, in the case that it is making an angle of uh, its axis is making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to uh, HP so first what we'll draw, uh, do is we'll draw the cone in with its base exactly uh, parallel to HP uh, that is on HP and then later on we'll just turn the cone to 45 degrees axis will turn at 45 degrees taking a part and then we'll draw the projections so let's move on and draw the answer for this question again the first thing that I'll draw is my line XY because everything that hovers is hovering around line XY Okay, now I'll do one thing. I'll just rotate the paper because the upper part has to be big. Now this is line six, and this is y. Make sure when you are drawing this uh, these kind of problems that you have enough space up uh, above line x y and below line x y as well as on left and right side because there will be more than one figure that will be drawn on the paper. So make sure that you have enough line according to the dimensions that are given in the questions. If the dimensions are not, if our dimensions are larger than what you can accommodate on paper, you should always use scale. That is uh, reducing scale. That is one is to do. That means one centimeter in the question. Oh, sorry, two centimeter in the question is equal to one centimeter on paper. So that kind of a scale should be used. That is called reducing scale. So now I've drawn line x y. The thing that was given to me was cone. So I have the base diameter. The first thing that I'll do is I'll draw the base circle which will be uh, the uh, base circle would be my top view so my top view will come uh, below line x y so my top the uh, right circular cone base diameter is 40 so my radius would be 2 centimeters so what I'll do is I'll take 2 centimeter on my compass 2 centimeter on my compass and I'll put any random uh, anything ra at any random center I'll just draw a circle this is the circle and uh, I'll, now what I'll do is I'll just make it dark with the sketch pen and I'll mark the center as this the next thing that I'll do is I'll divide the circle into eight parts now I'm just dividing it directly you should use your compass to divide the circle I'll just draw straight lines uh, four, I'll draw four diameters and those four diameters would help me get my eight parts of the circle So uh, I've divided the circle into eight parts. Almost, uh, I hope these are all almost good. I will name these again in the same manner as we did in the last question. We have to give uh, two notations. 
uh, here will I be uh, he'll will be giving just one notation because the center is where all the points will be converging and this center would be given the name as o and the rest of the points will be given as a b c d e f g and finally i'll give it as h uh, now draw the projections upwards this is what we do drawing the projections upwards so I have obtained different points now I will name them this is my this point is my a dash because it is coming from A, so it is A dash. This point is has two points. That is, this point as well as this point is coming on this line. So it will be H dash and B dash. This point has three things. It has O, G and C. But O will not be lying here. So O will be lying at the top. So what I'll do is, I'll mark C dash and G dash. This again has uh, two F and D f dash and d dash and this is finally e dash now the next thing that i need to draw is i need to draw the center of the cone the center of the cone will be exactly passing through uh, this point that is o so i'll just take this and i'll draw a uh, this line which denotes the center Now the height of the cone is given to me as 60 mm. So what I'll ne and the next thing that I need to draw do is I need to take 6 mm arc and putting the center at this point, I'll cut a point here and where the both are intersecting, that will be my point O dash. Now I'll just connect the lines. This is connected. 